Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's so good of you to join me, especially today. Well, every day, but today is definitely special. I am at Diamond Homes and I wanted to bring you here because, well, there are many reasons. If you click this video, then you saw that it does have quite a bit of length to it. So, we are going to chit chat. We are going to explore these gorgeous, gorgeous homes. And um, yeah, as usual, the slur will be down below if you want to come on through and take a look. Let's get started. We will start with some of the smaller homes. Let me also mention that she does sell some of her furnishings separately from the homes. You can get footprints at each demo. So if you need to measure out what kind of space you need for whatever house you're purchasing, you can get a footprint which is so smart and so amazing. Especially since, again, this is luxury and so it is not cheap. We will start. Actually, I think we shall begin at the group gift. We will work our way up. As far as how many bedrooms we see. We'll start small, go to medium, and then we are going to end with the grand dom of Diamond Homes. And you're not ready. To begin, we are at the Ventura Shores home, which is one of the really nice group gifts that Diamond offers us as group members. Let me mention right now that there is a 500 Linden group join fee. Uh, the discount, though, is quite deep. If you do decide that you would like to purchase one of her homes, it's at least a couple hundred linden. <laughs> Working your way up to a couple thousand linden, depending upon which house we're talking about. Let's go inside. Here we go. Oh, how smooth is that? It's just gorgeous. Now, let me also be quite transparent in that I've not seen every home here. So some of this is going to shock me too. Some of this is going to surprise me as well. I really like the choice of marble. It really elevates this place quite a bit. Up the stairs we go. Must be the master at the double doors. So, actually, let's go this way. Do what we normally do. That way, we don't miss any doors. Very nice. Large room here. And a bathroom. large bathroom. You could definitely be you with this one. Let's see. What else? That was humongous. Alright, so we've got another room here. Okay, very cute. Very cute. So this must be sweet for this room. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Okay. Nice space. Wasn't expecting this much space. Oh, look at the handles. Oh, and they lock. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, I love, oh, what great detail. I love that these little turret, I love this. I love it. I love it. Okay. I absolutely love that. All right, so that is the free group gift that you can obtain if you join the Diamond Homes group and world. Now, we're going to go back and find a, another house to look at. This one, okay, the Miami Beach. Oh, okay. So, there is a Miami Beach that is a grand version, and then we have a Miami Beach that is a more scaled back version. That is our group gift. And the difference between the two seems to be color and uh, a bit of space. It's been a couple of rooms here and there. But let's take a look. Now again, do keep in mind that these are just our ooh, sliding doors, love that. That these are just our group gifts. We haven't even gotten to, were those steps? Oh, they were. Oh, I like that. We haven't even gotten to what is really uh, the deal, really for sale just yet. Fabulous. I like this. I like it. Oh, and I love this color. I use this color so often in my own home. I uh, love this warm. Cappuccino color. All right. Let's go over to the other side real quick. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Love the um the texture on the ground. It looks like grouted rock. Love that. Hadn't seen that before. Not like that, anyway. Let's go ahead and get to the next spot. Actually, we can do it from here, I believe. Oh, this is another gift. The sliding door. Okay, let's see which one this is. All right, so now we are at the Pacific Coast home. This is um, one of the smaller offerings three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms 42 by 29 without skybox scenery 893 land impact without the skybox 994 with the skybox and your pricing is 4,000 without the group and 3,600 with the group so let's take a look inside oh also most of her homes are offered with furnishing and sometimes there's something extra or different that she will offer you'll see that 
every so often here. And there is one that, as you can see, that has an extra room. So you have two versions of this home, but you also also have one that has an extra room option. So again, we're going to look around. Love the marble on the fireplace. Love, love. It's not herringbone, but I like the um, that tile there. A lovely kitchen. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, put your table here for sure. If you felt, if you felt like that was what you wanted to do. Oh, built-in uh, cases and cabinets. I wonder, do they open? No, but that's all right because the shelves are there, and we can't have every single thing. Otherwise. Our houses would make it so we couldn't move. Mm -hmm. Loving it. Loving it. Let's go upstairs. And as you can see, she gets quite a bit of traffic. See our beautiful homes. Now, I will say that if you are, again, relatively particular, it's always going to happen. If you are relatively particular about your finishings on your home, then this is going to please you quite a bit. Unless you prefer 100% mesh, which I don't. And I've mentioned this before, but while I love, love the look of 100% mesh, it still isn't quite perfected. So you end up having to res a box down so that you can open boxes and, and res furniture and things like that. And I, I don't personally wish to do that. So, yeah, I like this a lot. All right, we are interrupting these young women who are coming to look at this house in particular. So we will find another to look at really quickly. And I believe, yes, we came in this way. This gorgeous home is called the Taylor it is Diamond's latest release, and it has a basement with a pool, and there are a couple of people in there looking around right now, so um, we are going to very carefully try not to bump anybody, but we are going to go and look inside. So, if you wish the one that is furnished, it's 10,800 linden if you're a member. And 11999 if you are not. The unfurnished is 65 if you're not, and 5850 if you are a member. I'm tempted to go through the basement, but I'm not going to do that. Now, let me say too that my girl Tan's got this house. <laughs> and is currently in love and decorating it. And yes, the doorbells do work. Absolutely stunning, as soon as you walk in. And there's definitely something to be said for a home being staged so that you can imagine yourself living in it, even if you're not going to get the furnished version. It's nice to see where she thought things would work and 
for you to work from there kind of as a blueprint speaking of blueprints and working let's check out the office and I love that the doors are actually there that it's not just a frame because often I will click on doors that are really just frames and you have to find the solid part of the door to click it to open up very nice office let's check out what's over here oh, it's stepped down I love that love the tray ceiling oh yes this is one that um, oh we saw so many that day but oh it's gorgeous look at this place Home, home, home. Love this kitchen. Love this kitchen. Outdoors to the patio. Just beautiful patio. Beautiful patio. And our living room, which is so cozy. Oh, this is so comfortable. Beautiful. Love that. Love that. This is what I'm talking about. Just gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful decor and thoughtful use of space. This is beautiful. So like I was saying, the girl Tan's got this house and she began with another home that I am sure we will stop and look at. Because why in the world wouldn't we stop and look at it? Oh, office in the bedroom, at least a workspace in the bedroom. I'm digging that. Yeah, she bought this home and she is decorating it and she says that she finally feels as if she is in the right space and I'm so happy for her because she really deserves that and honestly what in the world It's a work, it's a gym. Up the stairs we go. Oh. oh, it just feels so warm and beautiful and comfortable. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna start from the far end and work our way back around. additional bedroom oh my goodness she did lose sight oh oh no it's glass because yeah that's a metal texture all right all right <laughs> all right oh and these beds look at these beds how beautiful is the bed like literally ready for a nap. It's beautiful. Hello, Eddie. Let's check out the bath real quick. 
I love that there are also embedded lights. Oh, and did I mention that most of your windows open and close as well? You know, I cannot deal with a house where the windows don't open and close anymore. I cannot. I will not. I will not. I don't care how pretty it is. I won't live in it. So now I just won't buy it because I know I won't live in it. Oh my goodness. This is just stunned. Ow. That is amazing. Do these open? Oh, they open. Your curtains open. And then your window opens. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's amazing. This place is amazing. This home is incredible. Look at this closet. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just stunning. Talking about getting dressed. Stunning. Beautiful. Alright, let's go and see the rest of it. Because that is just, it's so amazing. And I do believe this is another office. Oh no, it's not. It's another bedroom. Oh my. Oh my. Incredible. All right. I think. Okay, yeah. Let's make sure that we covered all of the. Yes, we did. So we're going to go in and check out this restroom. I believe this is, yes. Very nice bathroom. You can easily get all of your BU in here. Or, and I used to say this all the time, and I'm gonna start saying it again because it gives you a barometer for uh, home and room size. If you have some of the Legaleria items, they will fit. If you're not familiar with BU, then definitely this is just so incredible. Oh, I love it. Oh, and a tiny walk-in. Oh, so good. So good. Definitely an amazing room for a teenager, by the way. absolutely beautiful and I know that my girl finally feels as if she's got enough room to live because that is a big deal when you do as much as she does in SL you really do want to feel as if you know you are living your best life Patios, everything. Ugh. Amazing patio. All right, let's get down here and look around. Oh my goodness. My goodness. How amazing. The other thing I love about her, now let me say that these pools do not contain animations, but you can easily get a swim HUD if you have any of the most recent Vista Animations HUDs, AO HUDs, then they have swim animations included. Um, but when you get in the water, it makes a splash sound, and I just think that's ultimately crazily crazily cute 
All right, so let's go in here. Very, very nice bathroom. Powder room cabinets. And then we'll go over here to our theater, which is incredible. As you know, I love having a theater in my home. So fierce. So fierce. This is our rec room, entertainment area, bar, party space. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful setup. Beautiful setup. And what you will see when you tour some of our homes, especially those that include basements, is that there are often little secret rooms and so this happens to be a secret room and it is stunning stunning absolutely amazing now I think I would turn this into either a very 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 naughty room or I would turn this room into a spa room. Um, put a hot tub and a massage table and some really, really romantic things in there. And yeah, that's what I would do with that. All right, let's go back upstairs. I believe, yes, we can get there this way. And I absolutely adore this place. Absolutely fantastic. And had there not been another home that I'm going to show you presently um, that I lost my mind over, definitely would be putting this one on the list. It's got that traditional kind of rustic feeling that I love so much. So this is our garage, our garage. And as you can see, there's a door that leads right over here to our basement area. And it is just, this is just fantastic. We are on our way to see something incredible, absolutely incredible. So I'm going to put a little pause here and you can pause the video here and we're going to come back and be at something that blew me away, absolutely, positively put me on my butt. All right, so five, four, three, two, go. We are at the most fabulous house ever. <laughs> well, up to this point to me, uh, as of November 2020, this is the Key West Estates home mansion. Um, I may as well say, you need at least a quarter of a region to place this house comfortably. Uh, there are essentially four versions of it that you can have as well. The full version, which can be purchased furnished or unfurnished. Of course, there will be a price difference between those two. And there is a downsized version of this home, furnished and unfurnished as well. Now. Let me mention that if you buy the downsized version, it will not include the basement and entertainment areas. Basically, there is a 
basement, first floor, second floor, and third floor to this home. And I know that you have to really appreciate how gorgeous your entry was and how amazing the path was up to the home. So let's proceed inside. Oh, all of the greenery and all of this that you see in front here is included. So gotta love that. I also want to mention before we go in that this home, the grandest of the grand divas, again, uh, requires about 5,500 land impact. So make sure that you have that much available to you. The downsized version is about a thousand land impact less. I want to say it's a bit more than that. I'm almost sure that it's a bit less than um, than 4,000 land impact. But you are going to want to have some room to put her down in addition to having one fourth a region in physical space. Do make sure to pick up a demo if you're thinking about this house. Get the footprint tested out. It's worth your time. Uh, the other thing is, is that the full version, whether it is furnished or unfurnished, does have a uh, basement and it requires a bit of terraforming so if you are terrified of terraforming you may not want this one you may want to go for the downsized version which you can just sit down on a platform and go ahead with life now the alternative to having uh, your home your might have to be terraformed home on the ground is to put it in the air make it a skybox and that solves all of those problems all right so let's get into this beautiful 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 home and um, yeah let's go a fountain greenery lighting automatic doors with a doorbell Oh! <laughs> oh goodness. All right. So, this is the main foyer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It's the most beautiful home. All right. So, this is our living room. And we're going to turn our sounds off here so that we don't get any copyright strikes for anything. Stunning. And this is just our main little living room. And I love that it is a small living room. It is a small space. It feels um, cozy. And this home is humongous. So being able to understand size and scale in that way is just the most insane and incredible thing. I've seen ever. How do you make a mansion feel like this? I don't know. Adult and PG animations for our kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. Interactive kitchen. A breakfast nook. Incredible! Incredible! Ah! And look at the little wicker lighting above it. Look at that. Just beautifully beautifully furnished wonderful choices and this is our dining room gorgeous <laughs> oh and how could I not mention these vases I mean how can I not mention them sitting here looking so elegant along with our candelabra just beautiful Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah. Ah. Alright, so I'm going to go to the other side. And the other side features our 
family room. Look! Oh, look! Oh, look at it. Look at it. And this cozy little sitting area, reading area. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. And this is a restroom. Can you believe? Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it perfect? Uh, and the windows up and it closed. Uh, oh, my face hurts. <laughs> smiling so much. I literally am getting tears in my eyes like I've never seen this house before. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's go to the other side. Oh, I'm teary-eyed. I'm so serious. I'm teary-eyed. Actually, I want to go down to the... No, I don't. I want to go upstairs. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> and then fountains on the wall. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Alright. Oh, you know what? I'm doing this wrong. How could I? How could I do such a thing and, and commit such blasphemy in this home? <laughs> Listen, there is an elevator. An elevator. And it works. Watch this stuff. <sighs> Look! Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> okay, I'm being totally unprofessional, but I, I have to. <laughs> it just is too much. We're going to go to the second floor. And we are here. And the doors are going to open. And we are going to walk out. Ah, look! And we're on the second floor. And this is our music area. Isn't she fierce? And look! Look, some of the best of all times. Out of James, Donny Hathaway, Ooh, Jimi Hendrix. I don't know him. I feel like I should know him. I feel like I know that face. Why don't I know him? James Brown, Marvin Gaye, Luther, Michael, Aretha. Hey, that's Elton John. Well, hell yeah, it's Elton John. He's a bad man. He is one of the greats. He sure is. Whitney and Stevie and Prince and Tina. Who is this? Oh, Celine Dion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, on my radio show, I play this song, my favorite song by Celine Dion, and it's called Seduces Me. And if you've never heard it, listen to it today. Al Green. I don't. Oh, that's um, Minnie Ripperton. Anita Baker. Y'all, so Gladys Knight, Bob Marley, Diana Ross, yes, Freddie Mercury, well, come on, Smokey Robinson, and Nina Simone, B.B. King, Billie Holiday, oh my goodness, come on now, come on now. Ooh, Ella Fitzgerald, another Billy, because she deserves another sport. And...
Dizzy Gillespie. I believe. Oh gosh. And that's why my mother would always say, you know too much. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. So much. Even the sculpture. Just, how do you get better? You don't. You don't, you don't, you don't. All right, and this is our office. I like that the win the windows. I like that the doors don't slide for the office, that they, they actually open. This is stunning. This bookcase. Absolutely stunning. And I love that this has this little area here. Ha 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 ha. Look, another little hidden area. And it's got a little secret elevator to another spot. Actually, let's check that out. Because this is actually just a teleporter. This isn't uh, an elevator in the way that the other elevator works. So here's our secret naughty room. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the other thing I like about this is that this is definitely my color scheme. And if you walk through the wall, you'll be in another area. All right, so let's go back upstairs and take a look at the rest of the second floor. And actually, as you can see, there is a patio here which I am very, very grateful for because, um, and I know I've said it before, I actually do quite a bit of work in my Second Life office. All right, Selena. All right. All right. I love the, the um, texturing done to the wall. It's just amazing. Just, I mean, the paneling, it just adds that extra little oomph, you know? All right, so to the rooms. Let's go this way. Now, I'm also, I'm lagging a bit not just because I'm running OBS, but because, as I said, Miss Diamond does get quite a bit of traffic because her work is stellar. And look at this baby room. I mean, there's almost nothing to do here. I love this piece of art too. I love the coloring and I think it's just really beautiful really really beautifully done really thoughtfully done child's room it's neutral it doesn't it doesn't push you into any um, stereotypical stuff and this is very cute for the baby's bathroom and for the little one's bathroom adorable Adorable. Such a nice room. Beautiful guest room. Or a room for another family member. The beds, the beds, the beds. Ugh. Now again, the land impact is going to be rather high on this one because the, well, the furnished version, well, you know, it's furniture. It, it is what it is. Um,
soft, beautiful. Perfect for another child's room or auntie's room. <laughs> Does auntie want to roll? We know auntie want to roll. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot. We have to look at our art. Stunning. It makes me so happy. This house just, oh, it's warm and it's rich. <laughs> oh, back in the day when I was partying real hard, there was a song, I ain't gonna call no names, but one of the lyrics was she pretty and she cute <laughs> oh. oh my god I love this house look 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 what what and you would think You would think that this is the master suite, but it's not. It is the most fantastic, fabulous guest suite ever. Stunning beyond belief. Let's go over here and look out on this patio, this end of the patio. So pretty, just pretty and comfortable and so functional, just incredible. All right, so we're going to take the elevator even though we could take the stairs. We have to go and look at the restroom, look at our powder room, which of course has plenty of space, no matter what you're doing in SL. Gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. I love that there are shades to click for privacy. I love that. I love that there is just so much, and this is a big deal for me. There is so much that's taken out of the equation that I don't have to account for. And I really like that. I don't have to account for rugs. I don't have to account for curtains. I don't have to deal with that because all of it is sitting there for me already. I just need to add in those touches that I want. and. Honestly, this is the first time I've been in a situation where that's the case. This is the first time I've been in a situation where I'm like totally comfortable with what is already in the house. The last time I felt like this was the Modena, uh, the quantum home. Well, you guys have seen that one. And if you haven't, I will run that tour up in here somewhere. I'll put a note so that you can click that and watch that in a little bit. But finish this video first. I will put a link for that video here somewhere presently. But do finish watching this one first because this it's incredible okay we are on the third floor and the third floor is the bedroom it is the master bedroom suite
one time we were walking through I can't remember what house but I said that uh, I like my sex to be on a pedestal and this gives me pedestal this bedroom is sexy feminine with obvious and decided hints of masculinity that will allow a man and a woman or masculine and a feminine to reside here very well together without either of them feeling as if they are being uh, stifled style wise and I couldn't love that more those curtains give me some privacy absolutely give me privacy and I, I'm over the moon love the little sitting area zoom in a bit love the art on the wall and on the table and the magazines and the high back table it's gorgeous gorgeous let's look at this bathroom ugh look at it look at it Double shower. What? What? Stunning. Stunning. Of course, these curtains don't open and close, but why would they need to? They really don't need to. Oh, my goodness. It's just gorgeous. And then over here this amazing amazing closet incredible again talking about getting dressed and not and it not being awkward you just say honey I'm going to get dressed and come to the closet and get dressed like any red-blooded diva would oh my gosh I have this purse well I have a purse like it oh that's amazing that's perfect oh and I have that hat too Yes, I do. Love that there's a little sofa in here. And that the doors to our closets do open, honey. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And of course, our curtains open as well. Alright, so... We have one more area that we have to visit and make sure that I'm not missing. I do believe I am missing the, well, we'll just go out so that you can see it. You can see this little area here. Not that there's a lot to see, but that there is lighting and the floor, ground floor? Well, it's a porch. It's a veranda. So, yeah, floor. Uh, the floor is very well done. I did not have to take the elevator up here. There are stairs that lead to every level of the home. But is it convenient to have an elevator? Yes. Is it 
fantastic and fabulous to have an elevator? Yes. Is it rich and bougie to have an elevator? Mm -hmm. Am I for it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I am. I am. I am. All right. So we're going to go down to the basement. I keep trying to use words to describe this place and there are no words. We are in the basement. Now do keep in mind that this basement is only, again, again, only included in the full-sized Key West Estates version. If you get the downsized version, this space will not be included. Okay. So let's walk through the wall and you'll see where we... Um, landed before. You see there's the elevator. Well, the teleport elevator. And this area is really just a uh, game room, entertainment space type of thing. I think it's very nice. Very nice. The bowling alleys aren't included. I wonder who makes this. I'm curious. Although I do have a lot of, well, let's keep looking. Love that there is an aquarium. Can you believe that there is a full aquarium down here? Insane. And you'll see over there is our garage. The cars are not included. And I do believe our door, yep, yeah, our door is over here. Silly. Silly me. Incredible garage. As you can see, this leads right uphill, which is fierce. And it leads outside, of course. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, we're about to do, make the same mistake we just made. This place is so big. So, let's see, where do we want to go? Well, we've already seen this area, so let's look over here. I believe this is our theater. Yes. This is our theater. And it is amazing. You know, I love having a theater room. I love it. I love that it's wood paneled. I love that there is a projector on the ceiling. I really love the uh, couches. I love this pattern. It's really warm, man cave-ish, without being off-putting. If you're super, 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 super feminine, it just feels like a theater room, which is amazing. And let's go to this other side. And then we will be done with our tour. Our little bar entertainment area. We'll let everything res in there for a second. So I don't know why it's doing that. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And then look at your ceiling. Stunning, no? And it really, while it's not a matchy matchy, it really complements the art on the wall and our fireplace here. Oh, I love it. And last but not least, we have a workout room. Now, of course, do remember anything you want to use your rooms for. Use them. Do that. Do the thing. But 
it is laid out beautifully for us already. I want to thank Asia again for being so kind when I contacted her about uh, touring her place. This was an absolute pleasure and I've been here several times since Tans brought me the first time just because it's beautiful and I, I don't get enough of looking around and I see something new every time I come. So thank you so much for joining me. We will be doing this again very soon. We'll be back to our stream format. I know that, you know, a lot of you guys enjoy being in the moment when it comes down to SL. But I really wanted to give this some time and attention and uh, give it a really nice treatment because this, to me, was very important and uh, very impressive again never seen anything like this in Second Life and it is spectacular. I'll see all of you very very soon. You know I love y'all.